known throughout his life as the Knight of the Immaculata, Saint Maximilian Maria Kolbe, was born in Poland in 1894. When he was about 10 years old, the Immaculate Virgin appeared to him and offered him two symbolic crowns, the White Crown of Chastity and the Red Crown of Martyrdom. He chose them both. Maximilian entered the Franciscan Order at the age of 16. So intent were he and his brother, Francis, on becoming religious, that they crossed secretly in a haycart from the Russian to the Austrian partition of Poland to enter the seminary. Max was sent to the Order's International Seraphic College in Rome for his philosophical and theological studies. On October 16, 1917, while still a student friar in Rome, Maximilian founded the Militia Immaculata Catholic Evangelization Movement. Its purpose was to bring about the reign of the Sacred Heart of Jesus by encouraging each and every soul to make a total consecration of themselves to the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Through the Immaculata to Jesus was a lifelong motto. The immediate stimulus for this movement was Maximilian's desire to counteract the militant naturalism of international Freemasonry that year. He had personally witnessed Masonic activists blaspheming under the windows of the Vatican. He was ordained a priest in 1918 and returned to Poland in 1919, with doctorates in philosophy and theology, and he had contracted tuberculosis. Nevertheless, he immediately began spreading the Militia Immaculata Catholic Evangelization and in January of 1922, began publishing the monthly magazine, Night of the Immaculata. So great and rapid was the growth of the magazine Night, today known as Immaculata, and the community of conventual Franciscans that formed around Colby, that in 1927 he founded a large apostolic center near Warsaw called Nipo Kalinov, the city of the Immaculata. Colby's method of evangelization through the sponsorship of Mary was a major development of the Franciscan charism, stimulating considerable growth in the Franciscan order itself. For instance, the city saw its original staff of 18 friars grow to over 650 members in just 12 years. While living in strictest religious poverty, the friars utilized the most modern printing equipment and administrative techniques available, enabling the night magazine to reach an incredible monthly circulation of 1 million, and a daily newspaper to reach 230,000. In 1930, Father Maximilian took four brothers to Japan and founded another city there. Future plans called for a city in every nation with the night magazine published in every language. All forms of communication media, including radio, movies and even television, were to be used without limit for the work of evangelization under the mantle of Mary. Colby went back to Poland in 1936, for treatment of advanced tuberculosis, and reassumed direction of Dnieper Kalinow, by then the largest Catholic publishing center in Poland, possibly in the world. When the Nazis overran the country in 1939, they eventually imprisoned Kolbe in the Auschwitz death camp, where in 1941 he offered to take the place of a man condemned to die in reprisal for an escaped prisoner. His offer accepted, he died two weeks later on August 14, the vigil of Mary's Assumption. In the process he ministered to nine others dying with him from starvation. Pope Paul VI beatified Maximilian in 1971. In 1982, Saint Pope John Paul II canonized him as a martyr of charity, calling him patron of our difficult century. He is the patron saint of journalists, media communications, the family and the chemically addicted. Father Maximilian was a profound theologian as well as a heroic martyr. While the Gestapo thundered toward Dnieper Kalinov to whisk him away to the death camp, Colby hurried to finish his book outline on Mary's self-title at Lourdes, France, I am the Immaculate Conception. For Colby, Mary, full of grace, is so united with the Holy Spirit that in a sense she is the incarnation of the Spirit. This and other insights have helped develop further the understanding of Mary as Mediatrix, or Gateway of the Graces of Jesus' Redemption, and Advocate for the People of God. Thank you for supporting this channel. Please like and subscribe as I will continue to work on videos like this for you. God bless you and keep you. Saint Maximilian Mary Colby, 
pray for us.